I'm Stacy Clark. I'm a research forester with the Southern Research Station, U.S. Forest Service, and we were out today looking at our chestnut planting that we planted in 2010, and we planted it to look at how the chestnuts that were bred for blight resistance um, will will do out in the real world in the real forest conditions out here. Um, so we planted the chestnuts that have been bred for blight resistance. Um, they're called the B3 F3s and we also planted American chestnut, pure American, which are not resistant to the blight and we also planted Chinese chestnut which are very resistant to the blight. And so they've been out here for six growing seasons and we've learned that they are um, very uh, good growers in terms of how they compete with natural species on site like tulip poplar and red maple. Um, they can definitely keep up with those species out here. We've learned that we have to protect them from deer. Um, and then we've also learned that the B3F3 seedlings are doing pretty good in terms of survival and growth. Um, they're growing a little bit slower than the Americans. And in terms of blight resistance, they're better than the Americans, but not quite as good as the Chinese chestnut. So overall, we, are feel, we feel pretty positive about how they're doing out here. And we feel like we've learned a lot just in how to plant these trees and um, kind of the do's and don'ts of how to plant chestnut and how to maintain chestnut in the forest environment.